This is the story of Thomas Lynch Jr., a farmer from South Carolina, and how he ended up signing the Declaration of Independence in place of his deceased father and how he died at sea. Oh, it's true. Great day out at the farm. I sure am tired of all those British people, all that tyranny and whatnot. How? Yes, I wish there was a document we could sign or you could sign that would give us freedom from overseas. I'm sure I will never be oppressed again. Ha <laughs> ha. I bet there's some place I could go. Well, look at here. We're in the Capitol building. I see you've came. Help sign the Declaration of Independence. Why, yes, I did. My name is Thomas, Thomas Lynch. Lynch, and I'm here to sign the Declaration of Independence. Well, we all signed it already, so even though you're a farmer, why don't you go ahead and do that? Okay, I will. By the way, you need to take it back to England and show the king what we did. Well, I reckon that's a not mighty fine trip I'm going to take there. Say ya. Oh, look, now I'm on a boat. Oh, Mr. Lynch, I do declare it's such a long and dangerous, arduous trip over the seas. Is there something else we could maybe negotiate? You don't have to go. I already said I got to do my duty for my new country. Fine. <laughs> and so Thomas Lynch took the voyage all the way to England to return the Declaration of Independence. Arr! A vast humidity. Arr! Give me all your gold! Oh my goodness! How will I ever get by all these pirates? Maybe I'll dance for them. Dance! Arr! I say dance! Dance! Oh no! Sea monster! Arr! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, it's a sea monster. How will I ever escape? Ah, I'll jump overboard. Ah. And that's how Thomas Lynch Jr. died at sea in 1779. The end.